Okay, so in today's video we are going to be taking a look at two programs with which you can develop software uh, or actually I should say two different ways to develop software and one is going to be the Eclipse IDE so okay I guess I want uh, just a C++ project and we are going to be making a little uh, cross compiler ok so I believe do I need to do I actually need to tell it where the compiler is is that really a thing here let me just specify G++ what? what in earth? Uh, ok as it gets uh, this is including some stuff which I don't know what it is uh, let's just say let's just uh, actually create a new file I guess so uh, let's say comparison.cpp ok and I'm going to be writing the code for this program using the space std and this is going to be a very simple program where uh, uh, doesn't that even work okay let me let me see uh, actually uh, I will do a printf instead yeah, I we will do printf. Uh, let me just say here percentage s slash n. Uh, let me say I and uh, let me include this in a for loop. doesn't this even work? I mean uh, this must be a configuration stuff or okay actually now it's working so uh, I don't know what happened there. Let me actually go ahead and run this. Uh, I don't know I guess I yeah I need to compile but where do I compile here? Okay, uh, now can I run it? Can I run the program actually? Okay, so it isn't showing anything. I guess that's actually wrong. Let me here compile again. Let me click run on this thing. Why isn't it showing me the output of the program? I don't know. This is messed up. Let me actually click one. Okay, but it says it doesn't have anything to, to do, I believe. Let me say to zero in case in case that's a problem it 
should have be a guest part okay the command looks okay but it actually doesn't even execute anything oh, it's it is not showing me the output um, that's quite so there's that let me show you what see out here and let me just specify the std here okay let's try and do this okay the colors are getting weird over here let me just say i just say in here let me just say slash end okay what's see the problem here I don't even understand but it says there's a warning okay it actually worked so that took like forever whereas let me just uh, well, let me just clear the screen here and let me just throw here comparison cpp and let me say include s on your stream um, in a space std it main okay and let me here for it i equals zero ah oh, i can't spell that less than 10 okay i am typing too fast let me actually say c out work and now to compile this I'm going to use a script uh, let me say comparison.cpp here and yep yeah, there you go so that took like a second whereas in the eclipse id I had to be like I don't know five ten minutes to actually get a hello world app working and I know that some of you might think that the IDs are really thought for bigger programs and where you have like loads and loads of source files uh, let me just say uh, the problems that I run into today uh, are not because I don't uh, know Eclipse I actually do I use Eclipse I or I used Eclipse in some of the lectures in university so i believe that i know what i am doing but the problems that you run into uh, the configuration problems are just stupid uh, as you saw it was it was telling me that there were errors and until i compiled the actual program the errors w did not went away uh, whereas in this here so let me just make here an error i've got a plugin that will actually work and tell you that there's an error there so uh, and it will work on any write and i've got as you saw this compiler program that actually is looks means compiler program uh, and it works with a bunch of of programming languages and you know it's pretty extensible and it, you can integrate it with Vim and make this magic work and it actually executes the program um, after compiling so that's great and you know 
uh, the Vim setup is, or actually I should say, I should say new Vim setup. Uh, as you can see, I've got the uh, nerd tree here also. So as you can see, it's quite similar to an IDE. But the good thing about it is that it has uh, all the pieces are independent. So you can when you put them together they just they just work they just work because they are really simple pieces of software uh, written to work independently from each other but can be uh, mixed up together but in this program where this is a really big binary I mean Eclipse is not the worst there are things like Visual Studio and not Visual Studio Code but actually Visual Studio which uh, is pro uh, proprietary and that sort of stuff and that's really really bad but what I w really wanted to emphasize here is that the IDE programs can get you in a real mess when you are developing whereas some plain text editor and some independent compiler can get you the real fast work and we are not even talking here about speed when we are coding because the Vim just uh, is too fast for Eclipse with the um, shortcuts and, thi and everything and uh, I know that in Eclipse there is some Vim plugin so you can like get the Vim like key bindings but I tried it and the plugins are a real mess in Eclipse so yeah I hope this served as an example as to why I believe that terminal based applications are uh, really faster than ideas when you are developing in software and uh, if you like this content consider consider subscribing and liking the video so yeah let's see you guys 